everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Georgina. If you are new here, if you um, yeah, if you're new here, my name's Georgina. I have a problem with stationery, and I have a problem with pencil cases. <laughs> um, I have a whole basket full of pencil cases, in fact. Um, and I filmed setting this one up when I got it over on Instagram. I did it on an Instagram live. Um, moving everything in but I haven't shared it on here and I thought I would because when I was purchasing this I found hardly any videos talking about this pencil case um, so I thought I would do one so you can see what is what is in this pencil case um, so this is a Milu bags pencil case um, it's their brick style um, and it is in their um, what do they call it pine green distressed leather so it's kind of like a um new book kind of leather it's got that kind of like almost waxed but not soft kind of texture um and it shows scratches and marks and things and wrinkles and it's yeah it's incredibly soft um and beautiful and um it is of a good size let me get a ruler actually so i can measure it for you so it is 21 and a half, 21, 21 and a half centimetres long um, and the actual seam to seam here is six and a half centimetres. Um, as you can see it kind of like squishes out with stuff in it um, but the actual profile of it is quite skinny so um, that's the thing that drew me to this particular pencil case and the other thing that drew me to this particular pencil case is this it has a pocket on the front as well as um the big main pocket so it is green i think it's coming up on camera kind of a little bit more turquoisey i think than it actually is it's a very dark very very dark green it's like one of those greens that's like a black uh, like a greeny black kind of color um it's really dark really soft really beautiful the zips are ykk zips the metal zips um they're really sturdy and i've had it for a couple of months now and i haven't felt the urge to swap into any of my other pencil cases and that is kind of um mind-blowing <laughs> because i change pencil cases like people change handbags and like people change shoes <laughs> and like some people not naming names Rachel, um, changes planner covers, I change pencil cases. So the fact that I am still in this one and quite happy in this one is um, really quite cool. So Milu, they are from, oh I can't remember, is it Spain? I think they're from Spain and they are, they're a handbag company um, but they make these pouches as they call them. They've got a few different versions, they've got one that is, m that more people seem to have which is just a square, that's just like a, um, uh, no, or what do you call it? Cuboid. Um, so it's just it's square cross section and then just long. Um, it doesn't have any pockets or anything. And then they have one that's got like three compartments. It's very flat. They have a few that are like biggest sizes and shapes. Um, but I essentially what I was looking for is a pencil case that was similar to my Le Sportsac pencil case, which I have actually got a video of what is in that one on my channel. Um, and it has sort of like it has a main section and then it has a section on the front that folds down and it's got two pockets in it and I always keep like the tools in there and then the pens in the main bit but the main problem with that pencil case is it doesn't hold Tombows it's too short because it was meant it was designed to be a makeup bag actually it wasn't designed to be a pencil case so it was too short so I wanted something that had that same separation so a main section plus a section that I can put tools in but which held Tombows um, and this was the best thing that I found because I also wanted something that was very durable that would last me for many years um, so I, I wanted something leather basically um, but yes this is the best thing that I found so it has a um, pocket on the front it's not a huge pocket but it does still hold quite a f it holds quite a bit really um, and the bags are all lined with really beautiful lining fabric so um, this one's got like a vintage floral pattern on it um, which I love 
and then we have a big main section here and then there is also another little zip section little zip pocket on the inside here as well uh, which I don't think I've got anything in at the moment no um, but good to know um, so let's go through what is in here I'm gonna go through the little pocket on the front first I think let's go through the tools um, so in here I have um, some post-it note tabs these are the little um, sparkly and gold foil ones um, and they're just so that I've got them for if I want to put a, a tab in my planner I've got my Tombow Mono correction tape um, I use this one it's six millimeters this one I kind of I don't necessarily need need the, the six millimeter one anymore I used to make sure that I got the six millimeter one instead of the which is blue instead of the green one because the green one was four and a half I think because when I used to use an Erin Condren the headers were six millimeters so I wanted one that was six millimeters so I don't have to do it twice <laughs> um, but yeah I'm using this one I'm not that fond of it though because it doesn't have a cap um, the next one that I get I want one that's got a cap so that this doesn't go everywhere which you will see on the next item um, so these are my scissors these are by Penko I bought these from Pencil Me In which is um, a cool little um, stationery shop in Elgin in Scotland um, they have a website and they sell lots of really cool vintage style stationery um, I got some great stuff on there we actually I've ordered from them a couple of times online and then I actually uh, managed to go and visit them in the summer when I was there um, and these actually come in a little sleeve but I don't keep them in the sleeve in fact let me just show you I got the bigger pair when I was there in the summer and this is like the little sleeve that they come in so they do come in a protective sleeve I just don't bother keeping mine in them um, yeah so I keep those in there as well um, and then the other things, I've only got a couple of things more in here actually. I've got um, a little um, tube of lead for my mechanical pencil. This came with my um, Kaweco special I think. So um, it's like a little glass beaker with a cork, cork top, it's very cool. Um, but yeah, so I've just got mechanical pencil lead in there. Um, I have my fidget toy which I don't actually have to use very much anymore um, but I got this um, to help me focus with my ADHD um, and I, for me this is the most satisfying one I've tried all of the more gimmicky ones but this is the most satisfying um, and then I just have a couple of paper clips in here in fact I think I've only got one now um, I've got loads of these little Midori animal shaped ones because James used to buy me them for like stocking fillers when I was uh, when we first got together so I've got quite a few different animals so I've got I usually have a couple of those kicking around in here normally I have two other things in here they're not in here that means that I've put them in here <laughs> um, but I will show you those when we get to them so in the main pocket um, I'll show you this first to, do, to get it out of the way so the only thing that I don't really like about this pencil case is that there isn't a huge amount of protection although it's leather it's quite soft leather there's not um there's not as much um there's not as much protection from things rubbing against each other and um if you're new around here you might not know but if you're not new then you definitely um already know I'm a big fountain pen lover and um I kind of I wanted something for my more fragile fountain pens the ones that um, I'm more wor more worried about them bumping against each other to be um, protected a little bit while, while they're in here so because I was using my superior labor pen case where you could like slot them into and it opened like a book and it got two pockets and I could slot them in and they didn't really rub against each other very much whereas um, with this one obviously they do so I made myself this um, and I basically just got some um, this is Rifle Paper Company fabric and I quilted it with some batting and some plain cotton um, to give it a little bit of padding um, and I stitched it into three and just made it into a little pen sleeve um, and in here I have my Pelican M605 fountain pen so this is the one that is, it's the white transparent and it's the one that is nicknamed the Ghost um, I have this in an extra fine nib um, I have my Platinum Century 3776. This one is in the laurel green with gold hardware. Um, 
and then I also have my Sailor and this is my Blue Green Nebula um, and this one is a fine nib and actually it's a bit too fine for me I'm going to do some tuning on it to try and make it a bit less scratchy um, but yeah so not so much the Platinum but the Sailor and the Pelican are the ones that I worry about getting damaged the most um, so the Platinum is just in here just to um, fill the other gap. The other pen that I sometimes put in here, which is in here, is um, my Pilot Custom 823. Um, just because I feel like then then the knob won't get um, adjusted just being in the in the case. Um, so I sometimes put that in there because actually I'm just looking and has it leaked? No, it hasn't. It's okay. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, so I have this in here just to keep my fountain pens just a little bit safer. Um, and it was just a little DIY job that I made myself, but I'm quite proud of it, to be honest. Um, quite like how it turned out. And I love Rif Rifle Paper Company fabric, so. Right, so, um, in here, let's let's dig in. Let's actually, let's find all of my fountain pens. Let's find the fountain pens. So... I don't keep um, all of my fountain pens in here that are all inked at the same time. I only keep some of them in here. Um, I I don't keep all of my fountain pens inked anyway, so it's not all of them anyway. But um, even all the ones that I've got inked, I don't keep in here. I do keep some of them in uh, my fountain pen case. But the ones I've got in here at the moment. Um, are that Pilot Custom 823 like I said so this is the um, amber colour I think they call it it's brown basically it's transparent brown and it's a vacuum fill pen and I have got a video um, of me um, unboxing this I think on my channel and um, showing me writing with it for the first time and I still hold by my, my initial review that if this doesn't have Pilot ink in it I do not find it a smoother writer um, everyone says, oh, this is, you know, it's like the smoothest, most glorious pen to write with. It is if it's got Pilot ink in it. Um, but if I put anything, that, well, I've, try, I've tried some Diamine, I've tried Noodlers, um, and what else did I try? Um, Kyoto ink, and I think I tried some Robert Oster, and none of them were quite as smooth as if it had got Pilot ink in it. So I tend to stick to putting Iroshizuku in this. Um, at the moment it's got inner hoe in it um, which I think has actually just been discontinued which is kind of sad because uh, it's a really pretty colour kind of like a, a greeny brown um, yeah so that is like that's a, a massive capacity fountain pen for if I am planning on doing a hell of a lot of writing then I have um, this pen so this is my Kaweco Brass Sport um, this one always has Diamond Ancient Copper in it. I never put anything else in it really now. Um, and it's brass, so it's durable, it's really, really hard wearing. Um, it's, yeah, it's my pen that I kind of use when I'm travelling because I, I don't have to worry about it getting damaged. <laughs> but yeah, so I keep that in there. Um, I've got this pen, which this is a Parker IM, I think they called it. Um, this was a gift from my manager when I um, changed jobs um, a couple of months ago um, she got me this beautiful beautiful fountain pen it's just it's a really pretty like champagne gold um, with gold trim really pretty um, it's got a medium nib it's a steel nib and um, I use this mainly for journaling at the moment I've got um, Ferris wheel press cream of earl ink in it which doesn't show up very well but I don't mind that for journaling because you can read it if you're sat reading it but like you can't see it from further away. I kind of like that for journaling so um, that's what I'm using in that one. And then finally I have my Pilot Custom 74. So this one is a soft fine nib. This is what I use for drawing. Um, so all of my, if you see my illustrations that are of book spines, vintage book spines, this is what I use for drawing. Um, because it's a soft fine so it's a it's it's not a flex nib but it's a soft fine means that it does have flexibility to it so it can um, create variable line width um, so that's what I use for that one 
after fountain pens, um, let's go through the Tombos because obviously that was the reason that I wanted this um, pencil case. Is that all of them? Yes, I think so. Um, so these are the Tombos that I'm currently carrying. Let me just flip those two over for you. Um, they're all kind of like earthy kind of tones at the moment. Um, I'm trying to pick colours at the moment that I want to use for my um, power sheets but I haven't decided on them yet but I'm sort of kind of picking from this kind of tone. Um, so in here at the moment I've got, um, I had read, I had put the numbers on the caps but they've all rubbed off which is not useful. Um, so I've got 837, 026, 947, 177, 885, 076, 158 and 679. Um, so yeah, they're all quite like deep, earthy kind of tones, um, which I'm enjoying at the moment. Um, one little extra pen that I've got in here, colour pen, is this is a, um, it's a WH Smith conical pen. It's basically a super tip, um, but it's the WH Smith version because they were dirt cheap. Um, I got these, I got 30 of these for three pounds something, like three pound fifty or something. Um, and what I've actually, and the reason I didn't want to spend very much on them is because I'm not using them um, to like highlight or to letter with. I'm actually squishing the tips and using them as dot markers um, because I wanted, I, I want to get the zig dot markers, but the colours aren't really the tones that I go for. Um, so what I've been do what I did is I bought these and I'm um, matching the colours to my Tombos and um, I'm just squishing the tips and using these to make circles um, and it's working really well. So let me just take out those tools that were supposed to be in the front pocket and weren't so that I can show you those. So Uh, one of it, oh, there's that one. One of them's not in here. That's why. Um, that's why it wasn't in the pocket. <gasps> so where's that gone then? So one is not in here. That's why it was not in the front pocket. And I actually don't know where it is. So I'm gonna have to hunt that down. <laughs> um, but the other things that are normally in the front pocket are this. <laughs> which this is um, a little, I can't even remember where I got this from. It's one of those, you use it on your phone for when you want to use it as a stylus, that's it, it's a stylus. Uh, but it looks like a little pencil. Um, and I got this to, if I want to color or um, write on my phone screen, basically. Um, so I just always carry it with me just so that I've got it. Um, I have my Tombow Mono Light eraser. I use the light version because this is better for the Tomoe River paper. It doesn't crinkle, crease and tear it as much as the normal, as normal erasers do. Um, my ruler. So this one is by Tools to Live By. Um, you can get it from the journal shop. I got it from uh, Libraries and Archives Paper Co. But yeah, you can get it from the journal shop. Um, and I've got a referral link uh, in the description box below for the journal shop as well if you want to go and have a look. Um, and it's just, it looks tortoiseshell like, which is, I, I love tortoiseshell, so that's why I've got that one. Um, two other things that don't tip, don't fit in that front pocket, but if I was using um, like the Rifle Paper Company pencil case, they would go in that pocket, and that is my two washi tapes that I currently am carrying with me. They're both by MT. One is a skinny black one and one is a skinny like taupe kind of coloured one. Um, I just wanted like a really basic, not a pattern, just a like, an, like a kind of vintagey looking kind of coloured tape. Um, so they're the two that I'm using. I got this one from Paper Tiger in Edinburgh when we were in Scotland. I've had this one for years, so, but they're just empty so you can get them from anywhere. Then, oh, there is one more thing that would be in that front pocket, and that is this. Um, so this is a glue stick. It's a Tombow Pit glue stick, um, but it's in the shape of a pen. Um, and it's like, it winds up and back down. Um, I got this from Awesome Pens, I think it was, online. 
Um, I've never seen them anywhere else. Um, but I really like this glue. It's really cool. Um, well, not cool, but you know, it's 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 good glue. It goes on blue, so you can see it. Um, it's a good size, and I just find it really convenient being in this little pen type scenario. So, um, one more tool which I don't generally keep in the front pocket. I do generally keep this one in the pen section. Is this one? So this is my EK Tool Slice Tool. So people were going mad for these a couple of years ago. Um, I presume people still use them, but I, I just carry it everywhere with me. It's a tiny little ceramic craft knife. So it's like instead of using, um, you know, like a craft scalpel, it's this tiny weeny little ceramic one. Um, and it, it's, I cannot tell you how many times I've had to use it, like how many times I've needed a craft knife when I'm out on the go. It's incredibly useful. So I just carry it with me um, and it's, it's, comes in a nice case it's nice and secure I don't feel weird about carrying like a blade with me because it's just a little tiny little ceramic one so other things let's have a look so this is kind of a tool but um, again it's kind of pen shaped so I keep it in the actual pen section and that is this Tombow Mono Zero um, like retractable eraser and this one is the one that's kind of square shaped um, and again, I just use this one when I've got really it's something really small to erase. I use this one instead of the big eraser because I find that if it's something really small and I try and use this one, I'll end up crinkling the page. Whereas if I use this tiny little one, I don't damage the page as much. So I just keep that one in there. Right, pens, 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 pens. Um, let's do the um, kind of like. Yeah, let's do these two. So these two, I've only really got in here because of work, but they are actually um, useful for if I ever need to write on anything like vinyl or anything like that. Um, so these are two permanent markers, um, and I have them because we have to use these pens to write on our library cards at work. Um, so I have a Studler Permanent Luma Colour in black. Um, it's got that kind of tip. Um, and then I have a Pilot Super Colour Marker Ultra Fine Permanent Type and this is an Ultra Fine and it's that kind of tip um, and yeah that's what I mainly use them for but they are also useful for if I'm using um, vinyl stickers or anything um, then I have a single sign pen, no I have two Fude pens, two Fude slash sign pens yeah, because that one's... yeah. Um, I've got the Tombow one, this one is the hard tip. Um, so I don't use these quite so much anymore. I used to use them quite a lot, um, now I don't use them quite as much, but I still keep one, still keep a couple with me just in case. And then this one is the Pentel Touch sign pen. Again, it's a Fude nib, but this one's much softer. Um, so I just keep that. I've got a random Copic multiliner in the colour wine. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I've got this in here actually, I might take it out. Um, it's a 0.3 um, and it's kind of a pinky purpley colour. It's more pink than, the, than this cap that's on. Um, it's just a little fine liner. Um, and then I have some microns. So I have four. So I've got a, a micron brush um, it's got quite the, it's got quite a long, fine pointed brush tip, um, and all of these microns are actually in the sepia colour, in the brown sepia, and um, I didn't even know that they did sepia until I was watching someone doing their bullet journal setup, and they were like, "Of course, I'm using the sepia ones because I always use sepia," and I was like, "What? They do sepia?" <laughs> um, because I'm not as drawn to black um, quite as much now. So the view's probably just changed a little bit because my battery's just gone, so apologies for that. Um, what was I talking about? So I was saying, yeah, um, sepia, I'm not as fond of using black um, so much anymore, so I got the sepia ones. So I've also in here got the Micron 05 and 01, um, and yeah, they're just, I've, I've actually got, it's kind of like they're, they're kind of more of the chunky ones, because if I'm going to use these pens, I'm usually using them for like, headers rather than 
lines and things nowadays. Um, but I do have a set of these basically, but they're just the two that I've pulled in. And then I've also got the Pigmographic one, which this isn't the one that I thought it was. So it's kind of like this felt tip one. It's a really chunky felt tip. I found afterwards that the reason, the one that I actually really want is the, the Pigma uh, Micron PN, which is kind of like, it's a, uh, it's a, um, what would you call it? It's like a hand, like a barrel handwriting pen. <laughs> um, it's that one that I want, but um, this is not the one that I thought it was. But never mind. Um, when I get round to getting one, when I find one on its own, I will get one. Um, I've got one lonely little mild liner in here. <laughs> um, I'm just not using them as much anymore. I'm using the Tombows, um, but this one is the mild liner brush, and this one is in Vermilion. Um, which I do like this red. Um, I do really like this red. It's kind of an orangey red. Um, so I have one, one lonely little mild liner in here. Um, then I have a jelly roll. So this is a jelly roll in size 10. If you get a jelly roll that isn't a size 10, um, it'll be not very good. <laughs> That's my advice. Uh, the jelly roll in size 10, although it is a very thick line, so it's not so great if you need a thinner line, um, it's the only one that comes out opaque, I find, and I use this for black sticky notes and things. I have one gel pen. Oh no, I've got two, because my um, my Quaco has also got gel in it, but I don't, I haven't actually been using gel pens. I've been using my fountain pens, but I still keep one in here just in case. Um, so this is the Zebra Sarasa Grand, and it has a Sarasa Dry refill in it in a 0.4 um, black ink and I really I still really like these Zebra Sarasa Grand um, bodies I think they're really nice they're quite weighty um, but I, yeah I've just not been using them I've been using my fountain pens all the time um, and then we get to oh I've got this little pen that my mum got me for Christmas that I've just popped in here it's got a little G on it which is really pretty um, it was just from Paper Chase I think and a little tassel I've not used it yet um, but It'll be one of those, like, when I need a ballpoint pen or whatever, it will do. And then, finally, I have my two brass Kaweco specials, which these have been um, stalwarts of my um, pencil cases since I got them. So these are two brass um, pens. One is a pen, so this one I've got a Parker um, gel refill, a uh, gel ballpoint refill in um and then this one is a mechanical pencil and this is the only pencil that i really keep in my pencil case at the moment um i suppose if i was if i wasn't going to be taking out like, my sketching kit i would maybe also carry um like a black wing with me that would probably would it fit yeah oh it fits with a point guard i mean this has been sharpened down obviously but um yeah i would maybe also carry a black wing but for the most part, I mainly just carry um, this mechanical pencil, and I like these because they they tarnish, they um, they get patina as they're used. A, same reason that I like this brass pen, um, as they get used, you can see the they're getting discoloration on them from where I've held it um, to use it. So yeah, and they're they're weighty. Um, so all of this fits in here. Um, like I say, it's a really sizable good spacious pen case um i tend to tuck my little um fountain pen thing at the back there um and then yeah i just shove stuff in i'm not um it fits a lot in it but also it's still it doesn't feel like it's over overloaded it doesn't feel like it's super heavy and needs thinning out um, it just feels like I've got everything that I need all in one case and I don't have to um, I don't have to be super selective about what I'm bringing with me because that's one thing that I don't like is you know oh yeah this is a really great pencil case but I can't actually carry what I need what's the point if you can't carry what you need what is the point um, so yeah I sort of I'm I'm really happy with this one and the other thing that would normally go in this front pocket that isn't in there is a pencil sharpener. But um, so, like, if I was carrying the Black Wing, I would have my Alvin Brass Bullet 
pencil sharpener in this front pocket. Um, but obviously it's not in there at the moment. Um, it's probably actually with my other, with my drawing stuff. Um, but yeah, that's my little Milu brick pencil case. Um, I will link it below. Um, they sell it on Etsy and then they also sell it on their own website. Obviously if you buy it on Etsy because it's coming from Europe, um, it charges you the VAT at checkout. I didn't get charged any um, customs when it arrived. Um, but you know that's a chance that you've got to make. I bought it from their website instead um, and I didn't get charged so yeah it's a risk that you you either take or you don't don't you. Um, but I'm really really happy with it, highly recommend it, um, really sturdy, durable, feels really soft, looks smart, um, comes in loads of different colours, they've got loads of different colours of leather um, but yeah it is the brick style um, and yeah so that is what is in my pencil case i hope that you enjoyed that video uh, if you did please do like and subscribe and i will see you soon bye